Hi, Dr. Frank Johnson from Sports Medicine Ultrasound. I'm here to drain a swollen knee and inject PRP. Now, my patient and I go way back. We've been injecting PRP, cortisone, hyaluronic acid over the past, uh, what, almost 10 years. And we found that PRP worked best. She's waiting for a knee replacement, but her knee's doing so well with the PRP and activity modification. Loves to play soccer, but just not playing as much as she used to before. She's doing so well with the PRP that she doesn't want a knee replacement right now. So we'll do the drainage now. So first things first, we got my table nice and high. I strongly suggest you get your eye at the level of the needle. Second thing is I've got uh, an absorptive towel on the bottom because normally what happens when I drain the knee, either a bit of blood will trickle down or a bit of the serous fluid that I drain from the knee will trickle down. And you certainly don't want that on your table. I don't actually need sterile ultrasound gel because I find the skin disinfectant does a great job of conducting the ultrasound signal, as long as you don't get too much bubbling. Freeze. I'm going to place the ultrasound probe onto the proximal patella. I then gently rock the probe onto the quadricep. Increase depth. Increase gain. So what we see in the top right of the screen is the patella, the quadriceps tendon, the suprapatellar fat pad. We see at the bottom of the screen the femur and the prefemoral fat pad. If I slide my probe to the lateral third of the patella, that's usually where the greatest amount of effusion is. I'll then rotate the probe 90 degrees and we see the effusion there. I then take a little bit of anesthetic, put a small wheel in the skin, and pass the needle through the vastus lateralis and the iliotibial tract into the effusion. I freeze up the needle track on the way out, and the lidocaine works almost instantly. I'm then ready to take an 18 gauge 1.5 inch needle, pass it through the needle track, and here's where using ultrasound guidance is paramount. If I were to be doing this without ultrasound guidance, if my needle tip were to travel superficially, I'd land in the quadriceps tendon and wonder why I wasn't getting any effusion. If my needle tip were to travel deep, it would land in the prefemoral fat pad. And I would wonder why I wasn't getting any more fluid. There we can see the needle tip between the two. So that is essentially how I do an ultrasound guided aspiration of a knee effusion. And we're ready to inject the PRP now.